up, A. Wallace? Absent without leave here. Oh man, we guys, we've been going hard in the paint for the last five days. And I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to you now for the wind, because it is a brutally windy and cold day here, even though it's sunny, which is a blessing. It is cold and windy here in Ash Fork, Arizona. And guys, we are at these little retention water areas um, that is right near Road 6, where Chelsea Grimm's vehicle was found. And we have gone hard, hard here lately. And Chelsea Grimm's vehicle, so this is Road 6 out here. And it goes across where Chelsea Grimm's vehicle was found. And, um, guys, we got to have a tuck. Um, so I've cleared five miles in a circle around here. Five miles out, we have been clearing for five days. And, um, I have, uh, I, I just want to come... I got to be careful with how I do this. I know this is going to ruffle some feathers, but I'm just going to lay it out, guys. Um, so this whole area for five miles, I started five miles out and worked my way in to this uh, road six, this four service road six, which is the road Chelsea Grimm's vehicle was found on. Um, it, it's incredibly rugged and wild, okay, all the way out. I haven't seen one person. It's like we've had this whole place to ourselves, And all of a sudden, I zero in and we get close to this road six. And there's all kinds of action. And guys, we're out in the middle of nowhere in Ash Fork, Arizona. I'm trying to block the wind. Um, and let me, I'm just going to be real with you guys. This is a sketchy ass place. 1,000% sketch. Bad vibes awful vibes when i got here to this this service road six even right now i'm getting goosebumps um so this is a functioning cattle operation guys um i've been noticing characters coming up tending to these cattle these cattle get grain fed out of buckets there's buckets stationed around and um so there's active uh cattle type people which are taking care of these cattle out here on a regular basis they drive out here check them out. there's a salt lake right there but you can see this has been driven over a lot so not only that guys i like how the news says oh there's a woodcutter that noticed chelsea Grimm." guys we got to talk about this woodcutter okay they said it's a woodcutter. They made it seem like, oh, a friendly neighborhood woodcutter. Let me tell you guys, it was an entire logging crew that's been working here since last spring. An entire logging crew, y'all. Uh, there's the tank, the infamous tank that's in everyone else's videos. Yeah, I'm trying to block it from these wild gusts. But, so we got an active cattle operation. So we got people, I've seen guys coming out here tending, trying to tend to these cattle. And not only that, we had an active logging crew, not one friendly little firewood cutter like the damn news. You know, this is, I get pissed off because the news makes it seem like, oh, friendly firewood cutter. No guys, there was a, a large scale logging tree operation going on out here. It's an under, under the guise of fire mitigation so this is a hired crew they come out and they've been cutting down live trees so there's these huge piles of brush all over the place y'all like massive piles and then they're burning them so and i just want to okay let's write some facts down on paper ash fork arizona incredibly sketchy place um, there's like three chicks to one million dudes in this town. All the dudes are super rugged, you know, 
rough around the edges type um incels involuntary celibate uh <laughs> i mean i just talked to some shed hunters on the road and they said this is the most sketchy place in arizona is around ash fork the meth uh the sketchy ass people guys when i got here i went to the fire department and like look i mean we got graffiti we're out in the middle of nowhere how the hell do you find graffiti it pisses me off um and like I said, there's these massive burn piles. They made it seem like a friendly neighborhood woodcutter. And it's a large scale logging operation going on here. So Chelsea, this is Forest Road 6. You see 6? I'm going to zoom in. That's 6 right there. Just so y'all know we're in the right way. There's train tracks. See the train? Y'all, there's a freaking train over there. So if Chelsea would have gotten in trouble, she could have easily walked, you know, I know if she could have walked to the train tracks, the uh, conductor would have seen her. Uh, there's no cell phone service right here in the middle of nowhere. And y'all look at this. I mean, these giant ash piles. And I went, I started sifting through these ash piles, guys, yesterday. And, you know, just to try to find any type of evidence or something. But, but I'm going to try to show y'all. While blocking. I mean, I know, I don't think, Chel I hate to say it, but I do not think Chelsea Grimm uh, left. She, she might have walked away, but she was picked up by someone, I think, unfortunately. Um, we've cleared this area, and I'm pretty certain uh, that there's, that she, she didn't walk off on her own volition and perish in the woods. Uh, there would be a, a huge scatter from her sleeping bag, cotton. I'm not going to really get into it, but I just want to show you all these wood piles. I'm talking about the local neighborhood friendly woodcutter. This is a large scale logging operation, guys. And I want to tell you, I've worked for logging crews and they're the most desperate uh, type folks, rough around the edges. You know, they're not uh, <laughs> ladies men, let's just say that. Uh, and poor Chelsea, I hate to say it, was like a lamb back here in a canyon of wolves. And that's just, yeah, I know it's a messed up poetic metaphor, but. So the shed hunter guys told me that this is the sketchiest place. They, they said they don't even talk to the locals. They said all the locals uh, seem to be real rough around the edges. But, I mean, look at these giant piles, guys. They talk about the this was cut in the spring. So, it makes you wonder. So, there was heavy equipment out here to do all this, you know, tractors or some sort of skid steer, digging, you know, tools, possibly. Sorry, guys, I lost you. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't know. I just feel like... Uh, Everyone that was here working on this project, look, there's giant uh, burn piles. See off in the distance? Giant piles, that one's burned. I sifted through that one yesterday. But every employee that was working out here during the time Chelsea Grimm was out here needs to be interrogated fully, okay? Not just questioned, oh, friendly, oh, you were a friendly log cutter cutting some firewood? Oh, thanks for the heads up, bud. Oh, you saw, oh, wait, you talked to her? Oh, you didn't talk to her. You just saw her. Can we can we clear something up about the log cutter that said he communicated with Chelsea and then changed his story and say, oh, I, did, I just saw her there. Guys, Chelsea was a lamb back here in a canyon of freaking wolves, man. She didn't have a chance. <sighs> but, well, I am asking you to do what you can to see if we can't get these people, the cattle farmers and the loggers that were here, interrogated properly by law enforcement. How can we get, make this happen? Um, I don't know. I just feel like they questioned the dude real quick and like, oh, I saw her. Yeah, no big deal. No follow up done on these people. Um, 
But just tell me what you'll think down in the, in the comments. I know this is going to rub a lot of people the wrong way. But I just want to let y'all know, the only reason I'm here is to bring closure to families. We don't do this, and I, I'm going to beat, beat y'all over the head with this. We don't accept grants, bounties, money for any of this. Okay? We do this out of the kindness of our heart and for the creator to try to bring closure to families. And this is the road for Chelsea Grand Vehicle. It's parked, it's locked, with their camera and stuff still inside. But she didn't hike out of here, guys. She's not out in the woods. I'm sorry to say. Um, something nefarious happened. And the right people need to be investigated for this. So hopefully this lights a fire up under law enforcement's ass to properly interrogate these people. Um, a lot of bad vibes out here, guys. Shady. I don't recommend y'all come out here either and look around. I, I was talking to the shed hunters and the fire department people, and they say, don't go out there by yourself. You're really risking your life. They said even men are, you know, risk danger being alone out here by themselves. So, bad vibes, guys. Bad juju. But well, let's just say a prayer for Chelsea and her family. And, uh, Blessings to y'all. And again, I'm not trying to piss anybody off. I'm just state. I'm writing facts down on paper with this case. I've gotten to a point where I'm pissed off. I, we've been hiking for freaking 10 miles every day for the last five days. And I'm just, I'm getting the vibe. You know, once you come out to a place, you can really get the vibe of it. And um, that's the vibe I'm getting out here, guys. So, I mean, we cleared all this, guys. I was looking for impressions in the ground and everything. All this. And by now, it would be, there would be clear scatter everywhere if she, you know, were in these hills somewhere. So, we need to all focus our attention elsewhere to the people that were here during the time Chelsea Grimm was here. Please, God. Okay? Thanks, guys. I hope you have a blessed day. Hit that like and subscribe. And if you're mad about this, let me know in the comments. I got thick skin. But this is what's going down here, and this is my opinion. And like I said, it's just an opinion. This is alleged, and um, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.